<laughs> Who wants to die? Welcome to Conspiracy Beer Me. I'm Justin Trent. And I'm Shane Smith. And oh, you're wait. listening to the podcast that is making conspiracies fun again. This week, we are talking about Be a Doll and uh, Don't Kill Me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the fun. real story of Chucky. Oh, hell yes. Uh, very excited to do that. Yeah. This is... Uh, this is the one of the last of our Halloween themed uh, October episodes. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, in my I've had mind. a good time. Uh, we've, uh, it's been a little bit off the beaten track for us. Yeah, uh, but uh, we've had a lot of a blast. I think talking about yeah, talk about some spookiness and some dead people. Some, yeah, the haunted uh, house. We've had great guests on. Yeah, we have. this is going to be fun because we have our good friend of the pod back on for their episode. He's uh, he's done a Zoom episode with us back. Uh, in the yep. old days, but we're very yep. glad to have him in the studio. Welcome, uh, Andy Forster, to the pod. Back. Thanks. Thanks for having me, man. This place is awesome. Man, yeah. Uh, There's your beer, Craig. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> a waddle bottle top. Yeah, waddle bottle top spinner doesn't sound as good. I, uh, I'm a weirdo. I don't oh, like. We, that's totally fine. I don't like beer or or any alcohol. <laughs> we, that's totally fine. We, uh, that's fine. We wanted to have you on because you're you're kind of a. You kind of dabble in the the macabre, right? I do. I love. I don't know how it. I don't know why, because it wasn't always this way. But I would say definitely within the last you know five years or more, uh, I, I, I've gotten to the point where I almost exclusively watch horror movies, mm. and I'm not like, hey, that's how you wind down. Yeah, it's very, it's very <laughs> weird. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But like, you know, there, there, it, it, it's. There's people who in October they're like, all right, 31 days of horror movies. I'm like, you should try 365, man. It's <laughs> yeah. a good time. And uh, my wife uh, has finally said, like, you might have a problem or something. Like, that's <laughs> a little much. And I don't, you know, it's not like only, but I just I enjoy them. Uh, I, 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 y'all know Dusty Cagle, right? Yeah, yeah. of course. Dusty's yes. good, good he, dude. He loves horror movies as well. We've bonded over that, and we'll. We'll send each other stuff back and forth. Nice. Like, have you seen this one? And you know, some are so bad, like, uh, like Velocipaster. It is a, <laughs> it is a terrible, terrible movie, but it is worth watching for about fifteen minutes, so you can see that they clearly were out to make a bad movie. Nice. So, where's it? I got a question for you. Uh, is uh, when you think of a horror movie, what? Because here's why I ask. I was looking up top grossing horror films of all time. Mm. And to, much to my surprise, some of the uh, the movies on the list were not what I would call horror films. Yeah. Like I Am Legend, which is a, a Will Smith yeah. movie. Yeah, I wouldn't call that horror. Yeah, there's uh, the the Meg. I mean, I get it. It's a... It's a it's right. A, yeah, I mean, you're right, because it's, you know, it. Uh, I mean, but you... You know, they've classified Jaws as a horror movie, I think, ever since it came out. Yeah. And the Meg... Is, yeah, but it's. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. There's there are certain ones. You know, there's people who are like The Shining's not a horror movie. I'm like, it's a horror movie, dude. Like it's 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 maybe my all time favorite. Yeah, it's got twins in it. How's it not a horror movie? Yeah, exactly. Silence Sounds of the horrible. Lambs. We call that a horror movie? No. Um. Yeah. It. You know, something about that mm. makes it. Not, you know, it, it teeters. I think that's what a thriller is. That's what I think. I think a, a, thriller, yeah, like a thriller. A thriller mm. is like, hey, we're teetering between horror. And action, and there's like intrigue and that sort of thing, but it's not the gore fest. But you know, yeah. it like there, like when you go looking, you there's different categories of horror, and depending on which streaming service you're looking at, some of them are like, do you want to watch gore? Do you want to watch science fiction horror movie? Right. Which I love that. I mean, yeah. you know, and I I have figured out that there are certain ones that I don't care for. I don't care for just flat out torture from other human beings. Like if it's like tor- I don't know something like you want it to be, you want it to take on the shape of something that's not. Yeah, like, yeah. Like like yeah. there's one called Lake Placid, and it's I think that's what it's called, and it's like this couple's just hanging out by this lake, and these jerk kids are playing their music too loud. <laughs> they go say something to them, and then it's on, and these kids are basically hunting this couple and oh, torturing wow. them. And I'm like, I I probably got like 30 minutes into that, and I was like, I don't. You know, like I could finish it. I should yeah, definitely yeah, just yeah, finish yeah. it. But I'm like, sometimes I'm like, I don't, 
I don't want to watch people harass people sure. like that because I'm like that's they that's have, what's wrong with people today. Yeah. Anyway, I like the escapism of it. I like I like creatures. I like uh, evil creatures. I like that stuff. You know, um, that, that sort of thing. So I mean, but I do. I, I and and I just figured that out one day. I was like, oh, I don't like. I won't watch a hostile movie. Oh hell no! I won't watch those. And and I've never seen them. And I just heard about them. Yeah. And you're like. That guy Eli Roth, clearly something a little deranged about him. Yeah. And and but it's like, you know, kids who like go to a hostel in a foreign country and all of a sudden it's like, <laughs> hey, we're gonna torture you. I'm like Did you see Midsommar? I did see Midsommar. I probably should not have, I probably should have stopped. But I wa I watched it. It was uh but uh that was that I, I get your point. I, I tend to like the ones where it's But those uh, are those are crazy. Like that's that's like its own uh, brand of like folk horror, mm. which is like the witch, or as me and my buddy call it, the Vavitch, uh, because that's what's spelled with two V's. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, Double um, D. Yeah. But like, oh. I watched a new one recently called, um, I'm trying to, it's, it's German, and it is, it is along the lines of the witch. Das Witch? Ha- Hagen Zoss. Hagen Zoss. It is not Hagen Doss, but I did look it up. Yeah. And, um, uh, and yeah. it is, it is a folk horror thing. It is in German. And I, you know, initially years ago, I probably never would have watched a horror movie that was in a foreign language. But over the last few years, there's been so many good ones that I'm like, I, I did figure out you, you watch it in the original language and you have the, the um, subtitles. Mm. Don't watch it where it's dubbed in English because like, like if you watched, um, oh, what's the, the Asian show? Um, the Squid Game. Oh, I was oh, gonna yeah, say, yeah. I was so like, I yeah, and then just one Asian show right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but when you watch when down. you watch Squid Game, when I tried to watch it, I was watching it in English with subtitles, which I guess if it's in English, who needs subtitles? But I'm old, and yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and people whisper. So I was watching, it and I was like, this is terrible because the the people doing the voiceovers. It so doesn't match. Oh, I thought they did pretty good. Well, they compared they, to like yeah, a but lot like of stuff. I like um. Like the one that won the Academy Award, mm-hmm. I mean that was awesome. Uh, the movie uh, where they like secretly live in a house is that Asian one? Oh, yeah. that is a good movie. Yeah. Oh, uh, it is Asian. Yeah, crazy. It's Korean, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, Korean. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, Crap. Uh, God, why can't I think of uh, it? It's a. They, they, they start with a P. Uh, no. Parasite. 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 Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Never movie. seen it. And there's another one that he made before that. Okay. Wow. Um, Interesting, and it is really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what, that's a well, creature. Have you yeah. seen the Child's Play movies? I have seen some of the Child's Plays movies. I, I, it's weird. Somehow, when, you know, again, I watch all these horror movies, and I don't necessarily love some of the bigger franchises. Mm. Like I like Friday the Thirteenth. You know, a couple of them. Sure. Well, once you start playing the. Uh, uh, <laughs> You know, Jason goes to New York and Jason goes to space sure. and that kind of right, thing. I'm yeah, like, yeah. Ah, right. you're losing me, you know. And I will tell you that uh, I grew up where, you know, I didn't get to watch horror movies a lot. I didn't get to read Stephen King. You know, they were my my uh, mother was a very uh, religious zealot. So that that sort yeah. of stuff, you know, but I it's funny because as a kid, I could talk like Freddy Krueger uh it hurts my voice now, but mm-hmm. I could do it as a kid, so it was a neat trick to do, and I would prank call people and stuff. Uh, so I knew pretty, what he sounded like. That's but, pretty scary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, so I would do, I would do, you know, I love, I love that stuff, but I did, you know, I didn't get to watch it as much. And you know, like a lot of people, if you tell people you read Stephen King, which is what I typically read these days. They'd be like, oh, yeah, I did that in high school. I'm like, well, good for you. I could not <laughs> yeah. have done that in high school. <laughs> yeah. I definitely couldn't have done yeah. that in any school. Yeah. 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 Well, the uh, uh, Shane, have you seen Child's Play at least? Or No. Okay, no. so that's uh, that's probably a good reminder that our listeners may not be familiar with this uh, horror movie franchise, which first yeah. arrived in 1988 with the original Child's Play. Uh, and then at the time, it was one of the highest grossing films, horror films of the of the decade. Mm-hmm. Then it was followed by uh, Child's Play 2, then Child's Play 3. Makes sense. Then uh, The Bride of Chucky. I was like, I can't re- I'm trying to remember when, uh, what's her name, came in yeah. and did The Bride. I don't know what year that was, but it, right. it was basically 4 was The Bride okay. of Chucky. Then there was the 
the seed of Chucky, which always sounded dirty to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like sounded, seed. yeah, he's, yeah. Gross. And then the yeah, cult of babies. Chucky, cult. Okay, and it's like the last uh, new movie they made. I think there might even be like a TV series based on oh, Child's crazy. Play. And then I think in 2019 they just remade. The oh, yeah, whole they just thing. they just revamped it or whatever. Yeah, just yeah, right. And and uh it's 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 so it's been I I I think of Chucky um in some ways like Jason mm-hmm. and Freddy Krueger like they've just entered into the cultural zeitgeist like yeah, like or oh, a mascot. Sure. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, they're just like peep you you carry a Chucky doll or you dress up like a Chucky doll everybody knows who you are. Yeah. Like Yeah, it's it's it, you know I'll, I'll tell you one of the, uh, for me, what I like, uh, or a thing that I find very interesting is the guy that does the voice of Chucky. Um, do you have that in your notes? No, no, I don't have anything about that guy. Yeah, so he is, he is a, a I, I want to, he's a character actor. And if you see him, you'll be like, oh yeah, that dude. And I didn't know. Oh, yeah, look, look at I think Shane's going to look it up. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Aren't all actors character actors? Uh, yeah, but uh, uh, when, when when people no. say that, they usually mean like they're not like a movie star like Brad Pitt. Oh, they mean like yeah. they play a certain they, character. They tend, right? Yeah, they tend to play char- little characters yeah. here and there, but they're not like, you know. And also, they're not that person. They're, when you see them on screen, that's not who they are in real life. So, for yeah. example, mm. right, have you watched House of the Dragon? I'm not, uh, but I know what well, you're talking about. The main uh, main woman in that show. She plays a dragon or something. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> you're like, wow, she's good. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a hell of a character. No, yeah. she's very like she's very stoic and very like Oh right, uh, right, right, right. In the show, she's very stoic and very uh, yeah. very put together. And then you watch videos with her. Her hair is cut crazy. She's like jumping around, yeah. acting crazy and stuff. Oh, you're like, wow. that is not even anything. Oh, yeah. Like wow. that's an awesome actor. Like right. I can be myself, but I can't be. Yeah, you know, I, good I think like that's that. the thing. Like a character actor is somebody who like they just kind of morph into whatever that character is. You're just used to them being that. Yeah, and right, you see, right, right, or, or right. they're they're a, they're a, they're an actor that you see in something. You go, where have I seen him, or where have mm. I seen her? Oh yeah, Brad Dorf. Brad Dorf. Yes. Oh yeah. So Brad, like, if you find earlier pictures, so he's been in like he was in Dune. Yeah. Oh, episodes shit. of of the X Files. Oh damn! Um, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's so that's the thing. Like, if I see him. I, I'm like, what's his name again? So I look him up. And, and he's the voice of Chucky. And he's the voice of Chucky. I don't even know what Chucky. Chucky's voice sounds like. Yeah. Uh, I know. Well, how, why are you talking about it? You don't know what he sounds like. Yeah, I, don't, well, I forget. I haven't. I didn't. Uh, yeah. I, I did find it. Uh, one of my favorite offshoots of this story. It's not what we're talking about. But is uh, in Pinson, Alabama. Did you guys hear this story of this five-year-old who looks remarkably like Chucky and his mom helped him no. perfect like a Chucky costume, but it's just like him walking around his neighborhood <laughs> and he freaked <laughs> his fucking neighbors out so bad. Oh, like I love the that. cops I got think called. Seen, I think I have seen those videos. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Cause he looks so much like Chucky. I've seen, I've seen like, um, little people dress up like him. Maybe they did that on Jackass or something. Oh, probably. Oh, and, wow. um, and run around like, you know, yeah. scaring the crap oh, out of yeah, people. Yeah. And you know, you know, you know, it's a small person cause of how they're running. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, it's definitely not Dorf on uh, horror. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I miss but, Dorf. But that's the thing. Like you look, um, this guy, Brad Dorf, he was in Lord of the Rings. He was worm tongue. And he so was. he was like, just a really, I think he had like black stuff in his mouth, and it was really. Oh, weird. I remember Worm Tongue and Lord yeah, of the Rings. Yeah, you probably don't. You may not. No. I, I don't, oh yeah, so that's I do. Him. Yeah. So that's the thing. He just kind of falls into these. Like he was in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and he, he made a, a lot of money. He was a racist deputy in Mississippi Burning. So uh, like he plays some oftentimes fairly villainous characters. Oh, that's crazy. But he's but he's great. And so like that's the thing. I'll see him in something. Who is that guy? Oh, it's Brad Burf. And he does, you know, the voice of uh, Chucky. That's awesome. And I don't I'm, you know, I'm sure I can look it up, but I, I think he's always played the voice of Chucky. Yeah, Ooh. probably. Once you once you that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think he's he's Well, the the since Shane, you haven't seen it, mm-hmm. I, you probably could guess this without seeing the movie, but the gist of the whole movie is that a, uh, a killer uh, is out, out on the run and he, he, he is being pursued. And just before he dies using some voodoo, mm. he sort of transfers his soul 
into uh, a good guy doll. Oh, Freaky Friday. Friday. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, sort, sort his body's just like a sort, doll. Yeah, yeah, out. yeah, yeah. That's right. So it's okay, like yeah. yeah. So and then this doll gets purchased, and that that sort of is the the back. Okay, which, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which I, which I think sounds you know stated that way like a sort of a plot device of like mm-hmm. this yeah. is scary to have a doll, but people got to buy into like. How is this doll alive? So they right. create this sort of backstory. Okay, for yeah. It. Yeah. Right. yeah but, it can't just be like a, a Teddy Ruxpin that went rogue. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Yeah. 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 No. Just, just take his tape out. That's yeah, all you yeah. gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> well, hold your horses on oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh well the 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 real story behind this is not that different. Oh shoot. Now I will say the director has denied that this is the inspiration for Chucky, but most people think that at least the guy knew about it and sure. he incorporated some facets behind it. Mm-hmm. So this is the real story of Robert the doll. Okay. There's a real doll uh, owned by Robert Eugene Otto. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, the, the, the real human being, Robert Eugene Otto, was often referred to as Gene or Otto. Okay. Robert always refers to... The doll. Did he ever go by Bobby? So he's a Bobby, Bobby doll. Bobby doll. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, is the drummer in Poison. Oh, that's right. That's it is. Yeah, yeah, that's doll. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, well uh, Robert the doll. We're going to call him Bobby doll. Sure, that's yeah, right. Bobby, Bobby doll nice. was his nice. doll. He was a uh, an eccentric uh, person, eccentric artist. So you know, like artists kind of get away with a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Art, eccentric artist from a prominent... <laughs> Key West family. Okay. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think this is, this is a, just to set the stage. This is like early 20th century, 1900s. Key West was pretty popping back then, I think. Oh, I imagine. Yeah. I bet it was, it was great. Like okay, what, what What's year did you say? Year? Yeah. I was like just early, early 20th century, like oh, 19, like, 1912. I don't know. Some, I don't know. You're that's, telling me, wait, you're telling me it's hopping before they even invented planes? That's where, um. Yeah, that was even better than there was no tourists. It was like a oh, cool yeah. place to live. You live on a. Sick ass island. Oh like, yeah, that, uh, author Hemingway. Hemingway. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It was like the it was like the it town back then. Okay. So uh, the origin of the doll uh, a bit murky. Uh, some people said that it was given to him by their Caribbean housekeeper, who mm. was angry with the family. Uh, some people said it was a gift from his father, who returned from Germany. That's probably correct because. Eventually, they traced the doll's origin back to the Steiff Company, which is a German, one of the very first German doll companies. Oh, wow. Okay. So this is the impetus for Child's Play, Child's Play. this story. This story, yeah. I did not know that. Yes. Yeah. And uh, uh, the, the Steiff Company were the first manufacturers of teddy bears. Okay. Ah. I don't think they would have been called teddy bears because... Yeah. Teddy bears were named for Teddy Roosevelt. Right. But yeah. I, I don't think they were just called bears. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Stuffed bears. Yeah. That Which, makes sense. Stuffed bears. Stuff, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or they had completely different. <laughs> this is our get the new Seamus bear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. It was. Uh, yeah. I think. I think. It's kind of weird to think about people not having. Ba- like stuffed animals. Because yeah. my kids had. Like we would be like, do you use this? And like, of course, kids hasn't the moment, slept. Yeah, the moment you point it out, they're like, I, I love it. It's my favorite. You haven't touched it in yeah, ten years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, but uh, but okay. So they had it, and they built. They made this doll, pretty big doll, by the way, forty inches tall. I mean, that's three and a half feet. So oh yeah, that's big. That's a pretty big doll in my yeah. mind. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, and then and then uh, uh, the doll itself had its own teddy bear. Okay, this is getting nesting yeah. doll inception style. Nice. Yeah, right. And then and then what the parents did is the the doll because it was tall was then dressed in some of Robert, let's call him Otto. Okay, sure. Mm-hmm. Otto's actual clothes. So so Bobby doll was dressed up like young Robert. Okay. That's smart though. That's great because yeah. then you don't got to buy a new outfit. You just got them, <laughs> you know. That I mean, was always I, a problem with my cabbage yeah. patch. I was like, I got nothing for this kid. Yeah, but I mean, all dolls kind of ended up naked at, at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. You got girls. Yeah, 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 they, yeah. That's all they do is take all the all the clothes yeah, off. Yeah, and they all have that weird. 
like the 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 crotch gusset is always real weird. Like yeah, smoothie, they got a smoothie. It's yeah, smoothie. Yeah, it's like it's like a weird weird hip dysplasia going yeah, yeah. on. There. It's, it's, it's called a thigh gap. That's what I was getting ready to yeah, say. They yeah. have they have an enormous thigh gap. <laughs> it's the original mm. thigh gap on those yeah. things. Well, uh, um, so so here's where things get a little again murky. Um, but at some point, everyone in the in the in the family, the Otto family knew that something was up with this doll. Mm-hmm. It had some kind of power beyond what mm. we think of as, as normal. Uh, Robert, or sorry, Otto loved his Bobby doll, mm-hmm. loved it. However, he apparently had a uh, habit of blaming it for, for, <laughs> for everything that went wrong, yeah. right? By the way, they ha- we have that in our house. Yeah, We yeah. call it Jasper. Ja- oh, uh, yeah. when, okay. when both of my girls would say, I didn't do it. And the other one was, I didn't do it. My wife and I was, must have been Jasper. We ate right. that piece of crap. <laughs> yeah. Is Jasper a, a, an inanimate object or just a fictional? Just a fictional f- yeah. character. It's, it, it, I think it, that guy in Family Circus made a career out of this guy. Yeah, yeah, yes. The, I don't know. Yes, yes. Not me and You're I don't right. know. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Geez, that was the terrible, worst fucking the worst comic cartoon, strip yeah. ever. It was like, so bad. Yeah, like you get to watch this jackass run around his neighborhood and see his footprints. What kind of comic is it? <laughs> He had three comics. Yeah. He had three. Yeah. Every he, the guy made a living off. Not me, and I don't know. The freaking Bobby goes crazy and watches yeah. footprints, and then Grandma Dead Angel Grandma's hovering above something sweet. This you conver- watched, yeah. Yeah, you okay. read a lot of family yeah, circus. My gosh, this conversation is how I feel when I get off stage and young open, open micers are like, "What the hell is this shit he's talking about?" <laughs> Running around the neighborhood, like, "What is this bit?" <laughs> like, "What is this old timer?" What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> family circus was a really bad. I mean, all comic strips are kind of bad. It takes yeah. a lot to be the far side. That's the only really. Yeah, those are great. Calvin and Hobbes. Calvin Hobbes, Calvin Hobbes, Hobbes. Is, good too. Uh, uh, is is so legendary. Um, yeah. So they there is uh, at least the official uh, Robert the Doll. If you go visit Robert the Doll in Key West, mm-hmm. the museum where he's kept in an airtight glass case, he, taken is, out once a year to just be checked because he's he's made out of straw. Oh, so they yeah. want to check to see how much of the oh. straw is deteriorated and all that. But you can go see him to this day. I was going to ask you what he looks like. Does he look like Chucky, or are they just not not he, really? He is he's scarier to me than Chucky. Because they dressed him in like a sailor's uniform, oh. and his face is all worn off, kind oh, of God. like it's a it's a creepy looking doll. Also, old dolls are creepy. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Have, yeah. You, have you seen the boy or the boy Brahms the boy too? No, because it sounds. Yeah, you should see the. Do you so, like horror movies? I mean, I mean, I like my son. My my oldest uh, son is really into horror movies. Yeah. So the yeah. the boy is this girl goes to. She she agrees to like nanny, and oh, so right. she goes to this house. It's a like common common setup in horror movies. Yeah, so she goes to nanny and finds out that what she's nannying is a doll, and the old couple leaves to go on vacation and mm. leaves her to nanny this boy. Oh fuck that! That is a doll. She getting paid regardless though. She is, Bye. but it's yeah. like. It, I mean, it, it, you can see where this would go. Like it's it you know. It's not. They fall in love and everything. <laughs> yeah, they, they do. They, they do. Have I mean, straw the sex, babies. The sex scenes are weird. Um, <laughs> yeah. But it is. It. I mean, it has a good twist to it, um, and that sort of thing. So, but it. But it. You know, something about it made me when you were telling the story about Bobby Doll. Bobby Doll. That it sounds along those same lines. Right. Right. Like maybe. They also took, you know, mm, yeah. from that. So I don't know. I like, I, I do like a good creepy doll. You know, I like the one from Saw. I think it looks good. And, like, I feel they look good and creepy. I like the the more monstrous, the better. Mm. Uh, Annabelle, I think, is a creepy looking doll. I've seen all of those. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <Let me see laughs> he just showed me Bobby Doll. Is he in bandages? Yeah, he, well, he's a sailor, you know, white sailor, sailor, outfit. sailor outfit. And he's got his. It's like almost like no mouth kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. What was like Otto doing with that thing? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, awful stuff. He, he basically blamed the doll for all misfortune. Yeah. And kind of like what you said with Jasper in your house. Yeah. And, uh, uh, other people claim that it was all the housekeeper who did some voodoo because she was mad at the family. They didn't pay her enough. Mm-mm. Get them back. I'll show yeah. you. 
Uh, I'm not sure it it matters the 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 backstory. What matters is that this doll had a few decades of crazy activity. Uh, yeah, it was here. Ownership yeah. and whatnot. Like that yeah. is yeah. So what happened is uh uh Otto went to art school, came back, set up shop in his parents' house with his now wife, and they had a turret at the top of their house, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Really cool, you know, yeah. down yeah. the keys, probably could see for miles. Yeah. Uh, Everybody at, wants a turret. I would love a house. turret. Yeah. yeah, as long as you're saying turret, not turd. Turret. 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 It's not a widow's yeah. walk. It's a turret. Uh, it's 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 round. They oh, call yeah. it a turret okay. in the in the notes. I read. Now you gonna make me go Google a widow's. Yeah. Walk. Oh, you know you ever go to the beach? Uh, I'm a fat ginger. What are you? Th- <laughs> <laughs> well, you a, stayed in the house though. Yeah, yeah. You know, at the tops of houses, they have decks on the top yes, of the houses. That's yes. a widow's walk because oh, was sailors a- would die at sea, and their widows would just go on top and just oh, keep an eye out. I was called that the crow's nest. Well, a crow's nest is on an actual ship. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's uh, the little. That's thing. where the that's where the dying sailor lived. Yeah, he, he was in the crow's nest. nest. She's yeah. on the widow's wall. Oh, I yeah. got it. Uh, well, uh, so he said he. That's where Rob, Robert. He loved Robert. Mm-hmm. Wife couldn't stand Robert. She's like Robert stays in the turret. He's like fine. The lights better there anyway. I'll yeah. paint up there. Yeah, so that's where he's always worked. So kids walked by this house for decades. And they would see the doll in the window, like looking at them. Hell no! Like, <laughs> like they would see the doll moving yeah, and stuff no. like that. Uh, and 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 they, and so you're like, well, that's probably just Robert. Just like, yeah, it's a puppet show. Start starting his, yeah. you know, day. Just kind of yeah, yeah. No, they it would happen when they were out of town. Oh hell! The doll would would be moved. The doll would just show up inexplicably in places where. It shouldn't be. It should not. Like, did you move the doll there? Like, like you know, you just walk in the living room, the doll's on the couch. Mm-mm. And the wife's like, I told you not to put the doll. He's like, I didn't touch the doll. Like, yeah. So the doll just appeared all around the house. And then people would swear the doll's facial expression changed. Like, they they would be, the doll would be present. And they'd be like, was it smiling earlier? And they were like, I th- I don't think so. You definitely should see the boy and a couple of other, but like the boy will be like, you know, the whoever's look, cause they've made two of them and the person will be watching it and like just staring at it. And you know, the boy doesn't do anything. Brahms, he doesn't do anything. And then the person will like get up and go to the kitchen and then just, they're focusing on the doll that's not moving. And all of a sudden it goes, yeah, that's yeah. the kind just of turns stuff Robert head. the doll yeah. would just do. Just turns its head, and right. its mouth might open a little bit. And it's still doll-like. It's not like it's suddenly, like, it's like human facial features. Right. But it just turns its head. Yeah. And it's like, what are you doing yeah. over there? Right. Fuck the person that. doesn't see it. But yeah. then they come back in, and... And then you're like... And then that? they're like, yeah, sometimes the doll's face is turned, and other times it's like, wait a minute, didn't it just turn its head? Now it's fine? What's going on? Right. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, that happened with, with many times with Robert, and, and there was also the pervasive... Uh, well, not pervasive, but the common sound of giggling oh, in funny. rooms. Mm-hmm. Like, people would... <laughs> yeah, no, this that's is, me. I'm yeah, sorry. No, this, there should be no contagious. laughter in the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <It's> <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to die? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was really good. Uh, so you have a you have a future. But watch out, Bob Dorf. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, so now today, Robert uh, the doll is 117 years old. All right, spring chicken. Yeah, he lives in Fort <laughs> East Martello Museum in Key West, Florida. Wow. Uh, in a uh, display case that was recently renovated due to a, a fan of Robert's. Uh, and uh, he is, you know, climate controlled, UV protection only comes out once a year, like Annabelle. Yeah, yeah. and 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 uh, here's the thing: uh, uh, he gets three to four letters per day. Oh my god! Of people asking for his help. Yeah. Some of them what are people. In the hell? <laughs> people <laughs> no. asking for forgiveness because apparently. Uh, People will go and take pictures of him, and they're like... Their lives get messed up. Yeah, they're like, oh. you got to ask him permission to take his picture. And if you don't, people's planes have, have like, crashed, and people, like, their houses have burned down. It's, like, it's real, it's real, like... 
Wow. Make sure you ask Robert. Yeah. There's like warning signs on the thing of like, so some of these letters are people sort of begging forgiveness for like offending Robert. Does somehow. he listen to podcasts? Robert, <laughs> listen, we're sorry, okay? Yeah, we, we aren't making fun of you. Yeah. We're no, very we're interested on your in your side. Story. We yeah. aren't Freemasons. We are. <laughs> <laughs> Speak we're for yourself. Speak for yourself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have, uh, I don't know if you have time for that, so I don't no. want to. So, <laughs> some people ask Robert to hex someone they don't like. Oh, hey, I yeah. need you to come haunt someone I don't. I mean, that's yeah, that's, yeah, that's just wild. I mean, the yeah. fact, but I mean, I guess that's you know when you see these people like I mean, freaking uh, Charles Manson got married while he was in prison yeah, before right, he right. died, yeah. and you're like you a harem. You're like what moron says? I just I love him. Yeah. Why? Like he he wrote some great hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Good musician. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, well, so I guess it's the same thing. Like, I mean, honestly, it, you got to be mentally disturbed to be writing, a, you know, unless somehow it's you know equated to like Santa Claus. Oh yeah. But but I don't think it is <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> yeah. You Here's know. a question: uh, Does he ever write back? <laughs> Interestingly and, enough, and, oh, he does. what's his penman? <laughs> oh is uh, the curator answers tries oh, to answer wow. every letter? Okay, mm. I mean, it sounds to me like she's justifying her pension or whatever. Yeah, that, sounds, whatever like, that sounds like a horror movie right there. The yeah. curator. Yeah, mm. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You know, she's just putting in uh, phone numbers for mental health services in that person's yeah. area. That's oh, all they're yeah. replying. Yeah, especially she said the ones from kids. She tries to answer the ones from, oh, from man. children who kids what should not kid be. Kid is writing to an know. evil doll, Robert the doll, man. He's, but like, he's who a, is letting their? Hey, honey, what are you doing? I'm just writing Rob Bobby doll a letter here. <laughs> yeah, telling him about how you didn't let me have an extra That's juice right. today. <laughs> he's the only one that gets me. Yeah. <laughs> If you haven't heard about Anchor by Spotify, it's the easy way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has the tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. And best of all, Anchor is totally free. Download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. It's yeah, it's a wild story. And I, I, I want to just pivot to something else because I think it's important is that I think sometimes when you hear these stories, you're like, well, he's 117 years old. It's a different time in history uh, and all that. And, and, and what I want to say is it is, but... This haunted doll stuff is all over the place, oh, even yeah. in modern times. Yeah. There was a family in, in Houston that had a uh, Elsa. You know Elsa, the the, the frozen? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. I think I heard about that. Yeah, this, this is crazy. So uh, they had this doll, and it started acting on its own. Like, it, it switched languages to Spanish which was weird because it like didn't have a switch or anything. It just right. all of a sudden started singing, let it snow, but in Spanish and talking in Spanish. And they were like, well, that's bizarre, but you can write that off. Right. Cause you you're like, easily yeah, say like oh, yeah. this was supposed to be in Mexico. Yeah. yeah it's, it's supposed probably, to be the Encanto doll. Or whatever. Yeah. yeah it's like, yeah, voice that's not a, that, but then they were like, well, turn that, turn that thing off. So they would turn it off. It would still sing mm. on off. And they were like, well, this is crap. Like, take the batteries out. Yeah. It would still sing hmm. in Spanish without the batteries in it. Weird. So they're like, this is yeah. nuts. Yeah. So then. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So then they were like, get rid of this thing. So they threw it out into the trash can. And a couple days go by. Guess who's back in their house? The same Elsa doll. And the mom was like, I know it was the same one because it had marker on its face. Oh, and we asked our daughters, which one of you got that out of the trash? And they were like, neither one of us. Yeah. And their mom was like, I kind of have to believe them because one, they both wanted it gone because it was so, it scared them. Yeah. yeah. And two, like, they're just not the kind to go like digging through the trash. So the mom and dad were like, screw this. They double bag it. And they go out and wait for the trash to pass, throw it into the back of the truck, mm-hmm. 
And they're like, okay, good riddance. Shows up again. Oh it comes God. back a second time. You gotta set that thing on fire. Yeah, you yeah. gotta. So you like, know what they did? What they? This is the meanest thing I've ever heard of <laughs> anybody doing to a doll, to a, another human being. Oh, oh no! Oh, so they had a friend in another state. They're in like Texas, but they had a friend who they knew somehow. Yeah, and they packaged the doll up and they sent it to him with no return address. So they're like. Mm. Not our fucking problem. Why not just put it to any address? Why be why, friends why, address? Why, why do it to your friend? Yeah, why do this at all? Why not do it to a horrible yeah, person? Yeah, that's bullshit. Yeah, mail it to <laughs> mail it to one of these horrible <laughs> leaders of these countries. Yeah, you know? is this he's going to hear about this on the pod? Is no, that no, no. He, find he, out about he found out later oh, because yeah, okay. uh, he because it was stabbing him. <laughs> yeah. He put it on the front of his truck, like he strapped it to his truck, uh-huh. and it, his truck kept breaking down and, and everything. Shit. So. So then uh, he finds out because they're like, hey, we sent you that doll. And he's like, that doll's brought me nothing but misery. They tell him the story. He puts it in a lead pipe, seals the lead pipe, and throws it into Lake Michigan. Wow. And that's where the doll sits to this day, like Jumanji waiting to be found. Wow. You know somebody's going to do that. You know there's going to be a diver in Lake Michigan. yeah, yeah. They're going to find it. They're going to turn that into a movie about the doll you found in a lead (laughs) pipe. Yes. Yeah, it's gonna like, end up in a yeah. in an antique shop, and, oh, yeah. and like someone's gonna buy it, and it's gonna be <laughs> so. What an awful thing to do to somebody! Yeah, though. why would you do that? I don't. Yeah. Hey, here's this haunted relic that we own. I'm just gonna send it to someone I <laughs> don't even tell them. Yeah, that's you know, I so. I always wonder like about that sort of thing. Like, you know, like it is it really haunted, or are you are you projecting? onto it that it's doing this and doing that oh like the mom was somehow a ventriloquist that kept saying yeah, spanish yeah, didn't yeah, realize yeah. It. I don't, I, well or or you know like like okay take for example the elsa doll that that was singing spanish like uh my brother bought a printer that that kept only in spanish and he found out it was not supposed to be it was supposed to be you know right the mexican version or whatever and so he Took it back and got the, the one wait, that was on. Wait, wait, wait. You tell me it was only printing stuff in Spanish? No, he was saying, like, when you go to read the screen oh, on the okay. printer, I was it was like, all in Spanish. The printer's supposed to print and what you said. And you couldn't change it. it because it was, <laughs> it was not supposed... He, he didn't buy it, like, at Best Buy is a nice way uh, to put it. So, anyway, so, like, maybe it was a doll that was made to be I'm in a, sure, but in a it definitely country. Was made to work with batteries. Right. Yeah. No, no. Well, th- so that's what I'm Ooh. saying. It's like, okay, it sang, it sang in Spanish, like... Did it really work without batteries? Did it? Like, are you projecting right. on this? Like, are you sitting there because you've heard it singing right, Let right, It Snow right, right, a thousand right. times in Spanish? All of a sudden, you're just sitting around. It's nowhere in your house. And you're like, do you hear it? I hear it. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, which is weird because I love horror movies. And I love the idea that some of this stuff is real. But at the same time, a lot of times I'm like... Well, that clearly can't happen. You know what I mean? Yeah, right, like right, I, right. I'm all the time just like that can't happen. That's not real. That's not going to. Yeah. You know. um, but I, but I love it anyway. I love like it's like Bigfoot. I'm like you yeah. know, you get a nice picture. I love I love the idea of Bigfoot. Yeah. I would love it if he's real. I don't know if he is. I don't. Right, right, uh, you know. Right, but right. like you know, you watch if you watch documentaries on it, it's like this dude clearly is like it was me. Yeah. You know? Right. So, right. Yeah. I know. I'm sure y'all talked about it, but I'm just saying like yeah. it, it, it's along the same lines. Like if you. You know, if you, if you and people hang their whole lives on things like that, you know, like, yeah, oh, yeah, I believe in, you know, I believe Michael Jackson's still alive. Right. And he's bagging groceries in you know, Jeez, yeah. Wyoming or whatever. Yeah. And, yeah. We're pretty sure we saw Epstein last night. Yeah. The uh, good night's uh, open, uh, Mike. Uh, <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, 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 geez, crazy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, yeah, it's crazy. You know, my wife and I were watching a scary movie once when my oldest son. So this would have been like 14 years ago was, mm-hmm. was a kid. And. Um, we, we had a rule when our kids were growing up that we didn't want anyone to buy us battery operated toys Yes, because, you know, it's always like somebody sends you over something that's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like, I think shit's just on all the time. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't take much. You don't, sometimes you don't even have to trigger it. It'll go off in the middle of the night. Right. You will lose your mind. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. And so. Of course, I have a a, a very strong minded uh, sister who I love dearly. Who was like, "That's a dumb rule. I won't get him what I want." Yes. Oh, yeah, and uh, so they got him for uh, when he was learning to crawl. So about his one year birthday, this Winnie the Pooh 
doll that crawls and it's like mm-hmm. Ollie his head would turn and he'd be like crawl with me and uh oh, crawl with me yeah so it's not uh, scary. It's yeah. just your impression is scary yeah. enough for me. yeah so uh we were watching a scary movie and we hated that doll and and it was one of those things where as the batteries died, it, oh, it yeah. didn't. <laughs> so like we Crow were, is me. yeah, that's what that, we no. were like. That thing Crow. came into the the living room <laughs> and turned its head and was like, "Crawl with me." Yeah, and yeah my, I love that. My wife <laughs> flipped her shit. Yeah, I bet. I took that Winnie the Pooh and just punted it out the oh, front door to the street. It, 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 I said, like, I'll get it tomorrow. It's, I it's, thought yeah. we were <laughs> friends. It's like, why is he talking like Eeyore? Yeah. Uh, that is awesome. My yeah. my grandma had one of those monkeys with the symbols. Oh, my God. And it was sitting at the on the floor next to the door facing me in the room I slept in. And I was like, I hate this thing. I'm just going to go to sleep. Fucking three in the morning. Before I started, it just fucking flipped With the out. creepiest smile. Yes. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, thing. I wonder if sometimes these things, like, you know, here's a theory if if you want to try to make something that would make sense of this, um, is that dolls, these inanimate objects, get oftentimes become very real to children. Yeah. And very much uh, loved and attachment and that kind of stuff. And and if you buy into this idea that there's energy signatures that we don't quite understand, there might just be something about how that energy signature in these objects allows for some sort of yeah dimensional travel that we don't quite get, or or some sort of possessive spirit. I I don't know if that's right. Yeah. But in the way that a house can be haunted, because it's got oh, this yeah. like energy yeah. that comes from tragedy or death. Like, can a dog get it because it comes from just this, like, just raw emotion of a child, especially if there's been trauma involved sure, where, yeah. like, you know, the doll, you know. Based on the movies I watch, which is a lot, <laughs> they, <laughs> yeah. you know, it, it like, it, it, it's, a, it's completely possible for an object to be haunted. You know, I've seen it where it's a box, you know, or whatever. Right, it is right, right. Sort of thing. Like, um, you know, and, and that's the thing. Like, I watch videos online not like it's not like what i spend most of my time watching but like if i occasionally i'll watch videos of like you know uh these we've caught these ghosts on you know Mm -hmm. these ghosts at a hotel and this goes here and i'll i'll watch them and and, you know my mind is going all right how can you how can you fake that so i'm like so which I i think most people are um i think you know with uh technology these days you can do a lot of stuff that like but i watched i know this this will (laughs) i watched the i I love the muppet show it's probably one of my great show all-time favorites and i watched the vincent price episode like two nights ago and they have ghosts because it's vincent price and he's on there so they have ghosts on there and you can see through them and i was sitting there going how in the world can you have ghost puppets that you can see through in the late seventies, early eighties when oh, they're doing this? I'll like this is the first season. I'll tell and, you. Do you want to know? Yeah. Cause they used to do this in the eighteen hundreds, uh, by gaslight in theaters. So what they do is they have uh the stage mm-hmm. and then they put a giant piece of glass in front of the stage and project it at like a forty five degree angle or okay. something like that. And then you have people on the other side of the glass below, mm-hmm. lit from below. Uh, the actors and they're shining and the oh, reflection is on the glass. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so that's how they did it. It was really neat. Yeah, I mean, it's it was really cool. Like, that's how they do uh, the Haunted Mansion in Disney, too. That's the oh, same yeah, technology. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. By the way, Shane is uh, very funny to me. Oh. So when he says <laughs> things, I always think <laughs> there's a joke coming. That he's, that he's just <laughs> jerking my chain. Yeah. Set you so up, he's bro. like, when he said, I can tell you how they do it. And I was like, Oh crap! What's he gonna yeah. say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that that totally makes sense. Yeah, yeah. and you know, the, I just found it fascinating because the technology is so much better now. Mm-hmm. And you're like, you're watching it, going, "Well, how did they do that with yeah. pup?" You know. But honestly, if you watch the Muppets, I mean, it's already technology of we're gonna shoot. Everybody is standing up with their hand up a puppet's butt, and we have to put the person who's gonna interact with them. Like above us, yeah. So yeah. like, I watched an episode with Paul Williams, and they like he's sitting in a chair, and they are literally dancing around the chair. And in my head, I'm watching it. I love it, and I'm going, 
how those people run around and <laughs> yeah. run into each other? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that's very off topic. But I just saying like, um, so that's when I watch the videos online and try to figure out like, you know, are people just, just, you know, but sometimes you watch and go like, no, man, this is, yeah. this does seem possessed. This does seem like yeah. there's an entity in this, like, th- I mean, you know, there's some, there's some good video. There's some good, like, it, not just, you know, some doofus going like, here's some, you know, there's yeah, some right. people that are like, you got to check right. this out, man. And um, so, I mean, I can see, and, and, and you, like you said, it was a Caribbean woman that, right. that, that I don't know if she made it or if she gave it to him, but like, you know, voodoo seems like it, it's a, it's a possible thing. You know, people, people sure. certainly. I mean, the book. Serpent and the Rainbow, I mean, oh, it was yeah. a, uh, based was a on a real, real book. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? It, yeah. I mean, by a uh, guy that went and studied basically how they make zombies there, which is. Oh, wow. Yeah. Have you uh, seen that movie? No. What's it called? Serpent and the Rainbow. Serpent and the Rainbow. Serpent and the Rainbow. I have not. It's based upon yeah. a real zombie. There's one documented zombie in this world. It was a, a guy that was pronounced dead and then. People said he's still alive, mm. and he was alive for like yeah. 20, 30 years after he was oh, dead. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, and he was controlled by this this voodoo doctor. Who oh, I got to check that out. Yeah, yeah but yeah. it's based on a real story. It's pretty crazy. Which it could just be scopamine. Which, do you know about scopamine? I do not. It's a zombie oh, drug zombie that they use in Colum- Colombia. <laughs> I can't say it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's from a, this flower that's like a trumpet-shaped flower, but mm. uh, you just, criminals will blow it in someone's face, mm. and you can't. Not breathe it in completely, and you're you're under people's control. They're like, go to your bank account, pull your money out, give me all your really? money. And like you can't. People, people yeah, have given insane. away all their money, sign over the deeds of their house. Have y'all talked about that before? Or something? Yeah, I mean, we've mentioned it before, but yeah, there's right. a good Vice documentary about it. Just, oh, about, okay, it's insane. That sounds that's a real. That's crazy. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah. Like I so I assume that's illegal. Oh yeah, but they just grows on the streets. I mean, if you yeah. process, it's it's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, a friend of mine. uh was a set uh, he managed the set he's in film but he managed uh for these model shoots uh and they would do model shoots in the in like you know caribbean and sure. then the mm-hmm. islands and he said that when he went down uh you know the first time they were like told him all about this drug and they're like your model should not ever go off and they set up like a little world mm-hmm. they should never leave the campus you know because oh wow because it's they, they will get a, people know they're here and they yeah. will get this stuff blown in their face and you'll never hear from them again. Good lord! Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You learn something new all the time. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Well, listen. Uh, what are you guys' final thoughts on the mm-hmm. idea that like haunted dolls or haunted animate objects, Robert the doll, horror movies in general, the child's play? You know, I I I think that. Uh, one, I'd like to go to Key West and roll the dice and just be like, "He ain't shit, Robert the Doll." <laughs> oh God! Not take no. a picture. No, 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 no. I'm just kidding. Play I would, him this I, podcast. I, I, yeah. No, I would. I'm just kidding. I, I, uh, I, I wouldn't mind seeing it. I, I, you know, I'm fascinated that they've. I mean, they could have just burned it years ago. You know, it's, it's made of straw, especially right. Yeah. So, like, they they clearly hold reverence for it in a way that they're fearful. Yeah. And so like if they're going to encase, unless it's like, you know, uh, uh, Barnum yeah. and Barnum and Bailey and they're right, like, right, hey, right, right. just fake people out for a hundred years or whatever. But it's like, if they hold that much reference reverence for it, that they put it in a case and it, it's mm-hmm. hermetically sealed and they're like, nobody can get to it and all that stuff. Like, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing it. Um, and it is creepy looking, but, you know, compared to what they, you know, the imagination of horror movies these days, like it's not nearly as creepy as, you know. You don't think, I somehow think that old dolls, yeah. blank faces are creepier yeah. than like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, things that are not trying to be scary. Like, no, they, uh, they certainly can be. Yeah. Sailor suits are scary. Maybe, yeah. maybe it's just <laughs> the fact that I have seen a lot of, you know, and it's funny, I don't. You know, I've seen, I probably saw the original Child's Play, I would guess in the 90s, but it's not one I'm drawn to to go watch again because I feel like it's a bit of a, a horror comedy. Yeah. yeah. I feel like he's always full of like little quips. Yeah. And there's very few horror comedies that I like. Yeah. Uh, you know, like House. You, like you feel House? like you could just. That one with uh, the guy from America, Greatest American Hero? Yeah. Yeah. That was. 
I saw that recently. Really? Yeah, it's a yeah. Lot of that was that was kind of wild. Yeah. So I mean, there's some there's some that are there's this great one with Lupita Nyong'o. Oh um, yeah. And it is. I know that the poster is yellow, and it's her and a bunch of kids, and they're visiting like a zoo or something. Okay. And there's a nuclear place next door. Oh hell. And. Yeah, zombies come, and it is awesome. It is a great, great movie. So She's I highly recommend. Oh, yeah. yeah, I finally knew the name of it. But um, anyway, you feel like you could just kick the shit out of child's play, kid. Yeah, Chucky? I mean that's that's the thing. It's like you, like a little doll comes, and you're just like, yeah. like because you you know you watch, especially me. I watch horror movies, and I'll see people. I was just talking to one the other night. I'm like, why are you going in there? There's yeah, no need. Why are you like just leave? Well, because they have. To, it has to be a horror movie. It does, but like, <laughs> like, that's the but like to do what's thing? the right play? If there's yeah. if, if there's if there's a a doll out in the and you know out yeah, in the I would room. think I would think that you would go punt it. Honest to God, I think yeah. you would like punt the even, doll. If he's, even if he's wielding a knife. I'm like you know worst case scenario he Take gets my knife. shin, and I'm just gonna punt the crap out of that thing. Yeah, yeah, you know. But like I, I but it's a doll. Take a ball bat to it, man. Like I I got a ball bat and I don't play right. any sports. I got a ball bat in my house. <laughs> you think two people try to kill these 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 dolls? Maybe the the trick is not to kill it, but just to like. Release it into the wild, <laughs> or I, I sort of like put it in a lead pipe and put it in the bottom yeah. of a lake and let another generation deal with it. Or and, give it a hug. Maybe that's all it needs. <laughs> give it, hey, give Robert. it, yeah. give it some onions. If it's got a knife, let it chop up. Let that's it, right. Let it Get to work. Dinner, Who wants man? a job, man? Show me your knife skills. Yeah, you know how many fugitives find solace in chef work. Yeah, yeah. 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 I see stories on CBS this morning all the time about yeah. it. I mean, yeah, you mean to cook at a? You mean to cook at a comedy club? That's, yeah, that's man. a horror right so, there. Uh, do you know how to make fajitas? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they don't have fajitas at comedy clubs. That would just be too loud. Chicken uh, tenders. They right? used to. They used to have uh, fajitas at good nights. They, yeah, yeah, not, yeah, not, not used... a not a sizzling plate of fajitas. No, it couldn't. No, have been. but my favorite was one night they were behind in the kitchen and the show was starting, so they sent them upstairs and they were like, "We'll just bring it up there." So they bring up fajitas and people are eating them, and I'm on stage. <laughs> And I was like, y'all are just going to eat your fajitas during the show, aren't you? And somebody holds one up, like, come get it. Oh, I shit. stood on a table, stepped out onto a table, which is very risky for a fat guy sure. like me. And I grabbed <laughs> one. I took a bite and then put the rest of it in my back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> because it was fun. It was yeah. fun. And they dogs put set, chased yeah. you home. That's right. Yeah. So, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. It's I don't know. Yeah. I, I, the idea of a haunted doll, it intrigues me. I think that's the thing. It's like it's a trope. Yeah. You know, that's the thing with horror movies. There's lots of right. tropes. That's why it's fascinating when you find one that is not playing on a similar trope that you have seen right. in all these other movies. And it's something new like Parasite or The Witch. The Witch is such a different what take. And I think it has to do with it because it's such a time, you know, it's it's in the, it's in the 1600s, mm-hmm. you know. And um, I, I, real quick, and I know this is not at all what we're talking about, but I watched the original um Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. Uh, the, like when it really happened? It's 1974. It's terrible. It is absolutely. <laughs> listen, ev- you hate every single person in that movie. Oh, yeah. Like, have you ever seen it? What's the one where they're sitting at a table eating dinner and someone just starts hitting the other guy in the head with a hammer? That's not Texas Chainsaw. Yes. Right? Yes. I can't watch that movie. It is. It is. I can't watch that It movie. is. And it's Why? At- too bad? Too scary? Or too no, it's it's kind of along the lines of like, these are real people doing things that real people yes. would do. Yeah. It's- and it's like, there's no, there's no rhyme or reason. It's like... Th- that whole movie is there's no rhyme or reason. Yeah, like yeah, it's, they, a, they, it's a massacre. They, yeah, I hate they it. and I read up about it, and it said that you know these these young kids uh, are going to check out the old homestead, and they run into this family of cannibals. And I never quite, I di- I never knew that it was like cannibals. Of course, he's Leatherface. But it's a face made out of other skin, and <laughs> yeah, why and, not just put a f- another face? Yeah, you could have had a whole bunch of them. It, it, and and so you, as you watch it, you're like, none of this makes any sense. It's just real discon, you know, connected. Yeah, from this part to that part. But the the you know one of the the kids is in a wheelchair. Call him a kid. He looks like a grown man. Yeah, and he is so annoying. You are literally happy when he when he meets his <laughs> yeah. You're like, yeah. you are a terrible. Like, and I don't, you know, I was texting my buddy uh, Dennis the other night when I watched it. I was like, have you seen this thing? He's like, yeah, I love it. I was like, why? Why? I was like, uh, oh, I said, this dude in the wheelchair is so, like, he's like, uh, Sally, 
Uh, where did you go to? And they're like, they got to go find somebody. She, he's like, you got to push me through the woods, yeah. through the woods in a yeah. wheelchair. I'm like, oh my God, Sally, leave his ass. Like, yeah. He is a terrible person. <laughs> So bad. I'm sorry again. Uh, sorry. I know that's not. And what this we're is Dennis talking. McCullough. Where, uh, Dennis yeah. McDonough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. He and I. He and I. Uh, he's a guy who used to be a comedian. He lives here, and he and I talk on a regular basis. And we used to, when you could go to the movies and feel good about it, uh, we would we would go see horror movies. We'd be like, all right, this one's coming out. You want to go see yeah, it? Yeah. So. Uh, I don't see nearly as many in the theater now as I do. Man, that's I rented one from Redbox the other day because the black phone. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to see it, and I was like, good, I don't know when I'm going to. cover. Gonna... Yeah, 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 yeah. Cover yeah. art's good. Um, it's good. It's good. It's got Ethan Hawke in it. He's yeah. good. Nice. So, what's your final thought? So, Shane? my final thought, I love haunted objects. If you go on eBay, there is so many things, and people make so much money selling haunted, haunted objects. objects, whether it's dolls or boxes. Or, really? Yes. This is a side business that all what of our we listeners should start. What are we start. doing? We should, I don't know. Yeah, we probably I, would make I more. Was, everything in this studio's haunted. Look probably. at that Jim Carrey doll up yeah, there. Yeah, that's, that's haunted. That's that's haunted. Fucking, uh, Why don't I just pull the crap out of my house? That's what I'm saying. Honestly, anything my 15-year-old has touched probably is. Yeah. You just have to write a good enough story. That's what for it is, yeah, yeah. Dude, it's amazing. There's you're so paying much for the story. You're paying yeah. for a, a good story, yeah. Yeah. and then if yeah. something evil happens, you're like, ah, yeah. he was yeah. right. And if you're my lucky, my mom's dead. Yeah, if you're lucky, one of those haunted objects uh, is reflective, and the person that took the picture is naked. Oh, have you yes. seen those? Those are fun. What? Nice. Uh, <laughs> there's no, like this. Yeah, there's yeah, like yeah. a weird fetish where like people be like, I'm selling this teapot, and it's like a chrome one, but they're naked in the fucking yes. the reflection. It's like they this. don't they don't think about it. They're like, oh. they're like, listen, I just got out of the shower. Now's a good time. Yeah, perfect. Take time. a picture of this chrome no, teapot. It's their way of like Man. getting out there. It's like that or an improv class. Uh, <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, but I I like haunted objects. I think they're great and fascinating if they're real. I think that. Another option could be it's either a haunted doll or what if when people reincarnate, maybe they just get lost along the way and they're like, that looks like a body. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, this is a fucking doll. Yeah. I got straw. I'm not even, uh, I'm, I guess what I can do is look just. Look at this thigh gap. Look <laughs> yeah. Thigh yeah. Look at my thigh. I don't even have genitals. Yeah. I'm like, I got a smoothie and a thigh gap. <laughs> yeah. What was I thinking? Yeah. What the hell? I should have gone into a, a fetus. Uh, <laughs> no nipples, no <laughs> nothing. 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 So, of course, if that you end up that way, you're like, I don't know how to die. The best way to die is just scare people until they yeah. fucking put me in a lead burn pipe. Burn me. I mean, me. honestly, like, <laughs> but, but again, I've watched movies where the Ouija board is involved, and almost every time they, they try to set it on fire. And then it just shows oh. up the next day. Oh, yeah. yeah I don't think Ouija boards are real, though. That's, that's they, they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're actually... Dolls are real. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean they're actually, they're actually, they're actually uh, uh, things that come and touch, touch the ether, for sure, I think. Okay, okay. Yeah. Do you fuck it's with It's just you weird that them? they're made by made Mattel. By Parker, yeah, uh, is it yeah. Parker Brothers or Mattel? I uh, we have one that's made before Parker or whatever. It's really? wooden and it's like... An is ancient it, one. Is, is this from your wife? No, my mom. She's got it in her closet. Really? We had an yeah. old. We had I, an old. I, I thought because your wife is, uh, or at least her, uh, she's not. Her family is. is not she's a, brown. Yeah, I don't know. That. I wasn't trying to say that. I wasn't trying to say that. What I was trying to say is like I didn't know if it like originated in a in another. Oh yeah, country. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the history of Ouija. There's a good website that lists all the Ouija boards ever Ouija boards ever manufactured in the history of them, oh, which wow. is really cool. Um, and I found this one on there. Um, it, not every one, but every type of one. Every model. Every model, but it like traces back to like before it was bought and mass produced, and like uh, the different ones you'd you find like, in different like regions of the. Yeah. In They've got America. the six million ones that Parker Brothers have put out yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Mattel, yeah. yeah, but they're legit. Like I like I know multiple people that fuck with Ouija boards, and like, I, I will never like, do I, it I, again. I, yeah, I don't think you should fuck with Ouija boards. Yeah, yeah, I, you know that's the thing. It's like I love this stuff, but at the same time, I'm like I got my limitations. Yeah. It's kind of like the metal music I listen to. Like sure. I listen to heavy metal, but the moment you sound like a grizzly bear, I'm out, man. Right. Do you like? Uh, wait, that's just uh, who? Do you like who? Oh, the, uh, now that's that's Mongolian throat singing. So yeah. that I'm all on board. Okay, with. okay. I'm okay. talking about these guys that are like the like they just do double bass and then just smash the crap out of stuff. Double bass drums. Yeah, and then and then it, and then it's just somebody going. Oh, yeah. And you're like, and I got a buddy who loves that. And I'm like, I don't understand I, why you. Yeah. Enjoy that, like you can't understand anything. He I says. I uh, was at a uh, a very small gathering of friends, and one somebody was playing that, and I had uh, had some uh, herb uh, oregano. No, no, the the the, I'm the, with you. the devil's lettuce. Yeah, yeah. 
And oh, iceberg. Th- that yeah. stuff was playing, <laughs> and I understood every single yeah. word. Yeah, really? And I was like, I'm out of here. This yeah. is, so <laughs> I was like, I'm not, dude, it was even scarier. Yeah. When you should like, try to mushrooms. I'm talking to you, you better listen. Oh, nice. Like, nice. I liked it better when it was just, yeah, yeah. 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 this is, uh, bro. This is, okay, I'm going to probably cut all this, but this is, have you ever fallen asleep listening to music and found that you're able to hear the music in a way you've never heard it before? Because yes. that is the best. Uh, yeah, I have, do you know, um, uh, Welcome to the Machine by Pink Floyd. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. sure. So um, if, you, if you've ever heard it, it starts out with sound effects and the beginning of it sounds like, like um and to me pink that, that especially that era pink floyd like i feel like it should have been the soundtrack for blade runner i feel oh, like they yeah, yeah. go hand in hand yeah and um uh i i don't i've never had that sleep paralysis per se but i did have a little bit of it i think in college and that's what that's what would happen i would feel like something was pushing on me and i would hear oh but, you know you know what that is and that's not when you're listening to music, right? No, I don't think I was. Oh, you know what that is? That's yeah. like the beginning stages of leaving your body, uh, like astral projection. Yeah. Oh, so, really? Yeah. So what happens is like sleep paralysis, and then um, you vi- you vibrate, and yeah, then it yeah, sounds yeah. like rushing. Like yeah, it's and like it gets it's like a cacophony of sound. And yeah. Like, okay. Right before you like cut, leave your body, you like it's like a ramp. You should up master sound. that, dude. Come back and I'm talk sure. To well, I'm sure my body can't leave my body because it's too heavy. It's like <laughs> that's why I never really did. It's like uh, we were trying, man. You just but Jesus, be, light as a, a feather, few. stiff as a board. Yeah, you yeah. just gotta be stiff as a board, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. leave a few, <laughs> lose man. a few pounds before you can do that. <laughs> be, be, uh, before we sign off, though, uh, where can our our listeners find and follow you? And and if, maybe what should you yeah. what should you tell them about? Uh, everything is. I think just about everything is comic big A. So my website is comic c-o-m-i-c-b-i-g-a dot com that's my handle comic big a is my handle on facebook and twitter and nice. tiktok i think uh i found out the other, i figured out the other day that my uh youtube is i am big a mm. uh so uh i tried to have like emails early on years and years ago that was just big a and somebody had already taken it my buddy was like if you just say i am yeah it, you can be whatever you know? yeah so i i have yeah um, so yeah, it's uh, con- that's you know even my email address, Comic Big A. Um, but yeah, and I have a dry bar comedy special. Um, Very funny. And yeah, thank you, thank. You. I will tell you a uh, real real side note, and I know you edit, so feel free to edit. But uh, so you know the folks at Dry Bar will put it out, and then everybody and their brother can comment on it. So. Uh, you're never you're never supposed to read the comments, but no. I I saw yeah I, I'm <laughs> stupid, and I read uh, a couple, but mainly this one. And this dude loses it because he is I could not enjoy this because of all the evil imagery behind the comedian. Does he even know? <laughs> and it's like he goes, it's uh, like this is the Illuminati at work here, <laughs> and I'm not I'm not making this up. Like when you were telling your, about yeah, your yeah. emailer, like this is just like this, and a couple of other people were like, I was thrown by that too. So. So I have watched it, you know, like the backgrounds are completely random. They shoot like, you know, six people in a weekend. So six people have that same background. Wow. And it's like, it was, it was like a, a, it was almost like a giant entertainment center with just crap on it. Yeah. And it was like, you know, some circles, some, some pyramids some and this, that, and the other. And they, yeah, they took, well, there's no pentagrams. I mean, you're doing it in front of the, uh, the Mormons, but like, yeah, I was going to say it's dry bars, like yeah, it's, Mormons. It's, so it's cl- like, th- that's, that's the funny part to me. It was like, this is supposed to be clean comedy. We do it out. Not, they're not all Mormons, but you're doing it in Utah. And then there are people who are like, oh, you see how evil this is. The evil imagery. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, well, I'm sorry. I didn't get the, uh, uh, all the school lunch chairs on a wall, which is which is one of the backgrounds, <laughs> oh, nice. and, or a clock or whatever. I'm like, I just got whatever they put. You have no say in it. Yeah. And uh, so you know, I was like, but still, who looks at that? Like, I don't, I don't have that mentality that I look at that stuff and go like, yeah, here's here's an evil yeah, image yeah. right here. Right, like, right, right. Like, it's a triangle, dude. They're shapes. You should try them. <laughs> yeah, check them out. Yeah, the most recent ones I've seen, I'm like. What the hell is that background? But I wasn't like, that's evil. I was like, yeah, no. who got that back? Yeah, no. They're, and they're they're just, you know, they have a set designer. And I think yeah. depending on the set, it depends on how much, that's how much they uh, charge. Like, you know, like your special might cost $12,000 to make, but the next person might be $20,000 to make. Uh, I'm like, well, maybe, maybe not go so wild. How about a red curtain, man? <laughs> yeah. I've been I've been going with that, man. Yeah. Wait, so. they charge you for your own special? They don't charge you, but they, like, they, they pay you to come do it. And then, 
um, there's production cost. Oh. And once your special has covered its production cost, you get some extra money. But it, you don't have money. to pay if it doesn't. No, 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 okay. no, no, no. Okay, no, no, no. I was like, wait a minute, what is this yeah, racket? Right. Those and there are some are... that they have recorded that they never released because, oh, crazy. Like they don't, you know. I don't think they go out. I know they don't go out personally and scope for every comic. They have yeah. other people doing it, and they might record one and be like, "Oh, Ugh. yeah, that yeah. was a lot of." So swearing. there's definitely some that they have never released. Ugh, that's the yeah. ones I want to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah me yeah. too. Yeah. 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 Well, man, um, this has been so much fun as always. Thank, thank you all you. so much for having me. Yeah. Y'all are awesome. Yeah, I love yeah. that you have this studio. We'll and, come back. Uh, that I got to leave my family for the evening. Hell awesome. yes. Well, look, uh, this is uh, uh, this is the conspiracy beer. Me, I am Justin Scranton. I'm Shane Smith, and this was Andy Forrester. Yeah. Peace. It's awesome. I love it.